Aurora as an initiative, I think it's really important that we emphasize the communications dimension to this effort. It's really important that you know people working in war zones or in famine conditions or dealing with climate change, that they know about Aurora and when they see somebody doing courageous work, they know that they have the chance to nominate that person for this prize so that, for instance, every year we get a better and a bigger pool of nominees. And because what's great is even if they don't win the prize or become a finalist, you know, if they have been nominated, if someone has gone to the care to write a letter of recommendation and learn more about what they're doing, maybe that even that offers some protection for that individual in the society because they can say I was nominated for the Aurora Prize. So my basic view is the more the merrier. It will mean more work for the people who work for Aurora and for us on the selection committee to sort of take this bigger pool, you know, and but and then the communications on the back end that when we have finalists that we really spread the word because everyone who comes here and is part of this and has been nominated or even considered is a humanitarian hero. You know, there'll be one winner technically, but all of these individuals are doing work that is that is just awesome. And and so I've been, you know, on my phone here uh, looking like I'm not paying attention. I'm paying attention. I'm tweeting because I want people in America and elsewhere to know about the work that is being done and about Aurora and what it is trying to achieve because we need more upstanders than bystanders. And and if if Aurora tells the story of upstanders, it can inspire people. You, you, you don't even know who you're reaching.